Hi, welcome to the Center for Contemporary Art in Tel Aviv, where our current exhibition is called Image Blockade by Maya Lamir and Ruti Sela, known collectively as X Territory. This exhibition features a new body of work um, that focuses on perception, insubordination, censorship, and advanced technologies. The works in this show uh, take the concept of X Territory beyond just judicial or geographic to look at uh, information, visual information, um, and how representation um, can be extended to practices that might include ex-territorial images. Image Blockade, the exhibition, is titled after a work called Image Blockade, made in collaboration uh, between Mayana Mir Nutisela and scientists at the Weizmann Institute of Science. What they did was scan brain activity from two different groups who are watching a news clip of soldiers from an elite intelligence unit um, talking about why they refused military orders to um, practice, practice extortion on Palestinians. And though it's a rather complicated scientific and artistic project, what results in their findings is that people who practice self-censorship or who have undergone military training in self-censorship biologically function different. Their brains read these images in a different way, therefore manifesting ideas of exterritoriality even in your own biology as you um, are exposed to, to images, to different media practices. <laughs> את כל uh, מה שראית, בדיוק בדיוק אותו דבר, באותו סדר, uh-huh. אותם סרטים, אבל אנחנו מוסיפים לך עכשיו uh, מידע שבסרטים uh, שראית uh, חלק מהתכנים הם uh, מושתלים, הם לא uh, מקוריים מהרעיונות uh, שעשו עם הסרבנים, זאת אומרת חלק מהטקסט, חלק מהתכנים uh, נוסף. אוקיי. Okay. Okay? וכרגע מה שהיינו רוצים שתעשי זה שתראי את uh, כל הסרטים, עכשיו כשאת יודעת את זה, ותנסי uh, לחשוב עם עצמך איזה חומרים לדעתך uh, הושתלו ולא היו, uh, לא נאמרו במקור על ידי המרואיינים, uh, ואולי גם מה לא היה עובר uh, צנזורה. As part of their exhibition, Mayana Mir and Ruti Sela present research on the Mavi Marmara incident from 2010, in which a flotilla of boats sailing from Turkey to Gaza was intercepted by the Israeli Navy. What ensued was a battle over images as well as a physical battle on board the ships in which 10 activists died and several uh, Israeli soldiers and people on board the boats were wounded. The Israeli Navy um, created an electronic blockade over the boat so that signals couldn't be sent and confiscated hundreds of memory cards and other electronic equipment that was to document the confrontation. Mayana Mir and Rujicela present highlights from various reports, both official reports uh, by the Israeli military and juridical systems and by uh, humanitarian organizations internationally who were protesting, who were involved in, the, in this protest flotilla. What they highlight is the battle over images that is actually part and parcel of the physical battle that took place. Alongside highlights from the reports of the Mavi Marmara incident, uh, Amir and Sela present stills from a television interview of a soldier who subsequently sued the Israeli military for allowing images of him from the Mavi Marmara to be released internationally, to be leaked. And it raises really interesting questions about a kind of hierarchy um, between the action itself and documentation of the action itself. Shortly after the Mavi Marmar incident, another flotilla to Gaza was planned by international activists, and Mayana Mir and Ruti Sela joined the preparations towards that. What's interesting from their documentation is the anticipation of these activists towards the media coverage alongside the physical battle over images. In these scenarios, what you can see is kind of performative element coming through in their, in their activism and the importance that documentation plays in this kind of work to the extent that actually most of the people participating were there to document it rather than to get to Gaza itself. Extras is a short clip that documents a 
collective choreography that Nayana Mir and Utisela set up using transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is a technology um, that can create and control movement in other people without touching them by simply electromagnetically controlling parts of their brains. Um, this is a technology that's still in its infancy, but the artists manipulate it and use it um, to raise questions about privacy and autonomy of movement, the limits of individual agency, and questions about the future ethics of technology.